Hello and welcome to Lad Reviews. Today I'm doing The Haunting of Hill House. Charlie, you got it right first time. I know, I was going into that then going, am I going to say this right? Am I going to say The Haunted Hill House? That's it, I've said it right again. Not quite. No, but you know what I mean, I said it wrong 47 times in rehearsal. Yeah, you did. So anyway, The Haunting of Hill House. Oh, twice on the trot. It was actually a massively hyped thing and I don't really do hype jobs, to be honest. It's one of those things when everyone, it's like Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, I haven't been to watch that because everyone's like, oh, it's so Anyway, so everyone was saying, I'm so scared. I thought, fuck off. Because to be honest, nothing scares me anymore. And I was just like, well, whatever, I'll watch it. I'm not bothered. One of my friends who I do value his opinion, he tore it to pieces. So I was like, okay, let me watch this because I want to tear it to pieces too. Two episodes in, I was like, this is shit. This is slow. This is boring. Uh... Then boom, boom shakalaka, I may have done a little win it in my pants. And it got me right shiver me timbery. What are you a pirate now? I don't know, I was shivering and I was timbery. Yeah, but the pirates are shiver me timbers. I don't know. Each episode, for the initial five or six episodes, concentrates on one character. I think that was the problem. The first few characters was a bit slow, it didn't really get going, didn't really go anywhere. And you know, obviously you're buying into the characters at this point and learning a little bit about them. And one of the first characters that it started on, he's fucking shit. I've seen him in other things before, his name escapes me, I'll show a picture of him there. He's fucking poo. Take him out of it, recast it, it would have started better and I'd have been a little bit more invested early doors. This is a very, very good and actually scary series. I'm gonna say this, scariest thing on Netflix. So, if you are looking for something a little bit <laughs> Do go and watch this. It's tense. It's directed well, it's edited well. As I say, the tension builds. Some of the VFX isn't perfect, but a lot of it is very good. Oh. Put it this way, I was walking around my house from room to room, putting a light on, and then getting to the other room, putting that light on, and going back and turning the other light off. I'm 35! And I was a little bit like, is there a ghost in my house? Oh. Yes, yeah, shit bag. Mate, I was scared, all right? I don't, I'm not, I'm not afraid to say that. No, but you were afraid of the TV show. Well, I wasn't, was I? I watched it and I don't keep the lights on now. It was just like one night. It was one, one night and I was shitting it. As the series goes on, you know, it does have a couple of lulls, but it picks back up and then a lull and then it picks back up. And I'm not going to tell you which episode, but by far the most scared I've ever been in my entire life from video content. Oh my God. I had to pause it. I had to take a deep breath. I had to have a glass of water. I had to get my shit together. My nipples went hard. It proper caught me off guard. <sighs> not sure where they're going to go with series two though. If they do do a series two, I imagine they will. There is talk about it being commissioned. Funny how they make these things with open ends and then don't quite know whether there's going to be a season two or not. Anyway, my point being, this is fun and scary and worth a watch. I would definitely give this a go with your girlfriend if she can handle it. Some ladies hate scary things. Some men hate scary things, sexist motherfucker. Yeah, this is true. See, you, you, you bitch. You, you're a bitch. Hang on a minute, mate. I watched it. I was scared. I didn't know I, I could handle it. Yeah, but just stop attacking women, all right? I wasn't attacking women. I just said some women don't like... All right, some people don't like watching scary things. <laughs> Okay, sister. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna give this four stars, believe it or not, which is quite high. You've been very generous lately. I've been watching a lot of good things. I've learned how to pick well, apart from one thing called Total Drama. Go and watch my review for that piece of shit. So yes, anyway, do go and watch it. There's lots of people in pajamas, lots of people, you know, very standard haunted house, 2.4 children, scary. Oh, I think there's about, I think there's actually about four children. They're all a little bit like, oh, it's all a little bit stereotypical to an extent, but as I say, there was a couple of moments where my balls fell out of my soul. So it's scary, man. It's good. And I would recommend it if you are looking for something like that. Again, as much as I'm slagging off one of the actors for being dog shit, there is some great performances in it throughout. The older version of Dad plays a really good role. I think he's done really well. The mom, she's, you know, a little bit sexy too. I do like the mom. I thought she was great. Uh, I'd watch this if I hadn't seen it already, but I have, so I won't because I know what's coming. But you, you go and watch it. Take your girlfriend to the sofa, pop Netflix on. She's going to be like, Aah! in fact, you might be like, Aah! so yeah, but there'll be lots of nipples hard. Hey, what was that? I don't know. I just, my nipples, they went out like, you know, ping. They pinged because it was like, oh, it's scary. And you know, you, everyone will be ping. Oh my God. What? I'm going to, I'll just go. Anyway, I've been Marcus J. Richardson. Until next time, peace. Please come back and subscribe and do all those things. Okay.